Benji and Willie were George's favorite mice in the entire world. <laughs> and Bruno was the only gopher snake he knew personally. So when Mr. Zubel asked him to pet sit for a day, George was thrilled. Thanks for helping me on such short notice, George. <laughs> I have to be at the zoo morning till night, studying feet for my new mural, Rhino What You Did Last Summer. <laughs> now, Bruno has already eaten an egg, so he won't be hungry anymore today. Don't feed him. <laughs> the mice must be fed, but I'm out of food. So I told the pet shop you'd be coming by to pick up mouse food. <laughs> George was determined to be the best pet sitter ever. So he sat. See you tonight. Thanks again. <laughs> George, I have to go talk to the park director about Heritage Week. Will you be okay by yourself? Be a good little monkey pet sitter. <laughs> a good sitter makes his city feel at home. Since these guys lived together, they were probably used to being closer together. <laughs> they didn't seem happy about that. Of course they weren't happy. They were hungry. Time to get food. <laughs> Here you go. One bag of mouse treats for Benji and Willie Zuwell. <laughs> Excuse me. Would I have to feed a snake long skinny food? No. Snakes eat fish, insects, spiders, mice. <gasps> Yeah, mice, earthworms, slugs, eggs, and they only eat once a week, sometimes once a month. <gasps> no wonder Benji and Willie didn't want to be near Bruno. Ah! <laughs> you forgot your mouse food! Hola, Zubel here. I didn't tell George that Bruno is about to shed his skin. He only sheds three times a year. So watch for it. It's worth seeing. Sorry. I'm out of peanuts. <laughs> George reassured the mice that they were safe the whole time. When he went to make sure Bruno liked his new spot by the window, He noticed Bruno had changed. What happened to him? The pet shop owner knew all about snakes. George could bring Bruno and ask him. Like any snake, when Bruno saw that warm sun, he wanted to be in it. The sun was warm, but city life was too noisy for a snake. He wanted to find somewhere quiet. <laughs> Came back for this? <laughs> ah, I see Bruno shed his skin. Mr. Zubo was waiting for it. As a snake grows up, it wriggles out of its old skin. Did you think this was Bruno? <laughs> I'll bet Bruno is under his rock. That's where he always goes after he sheds. George was relieved to hear Bruno would be safe in his animal habitat. Until he remembered he left the habitat open. Bruno must have crawled out. <laughs> 